Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV Amarillo, and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite brands of fifth wheels. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model Z 3100. This is a super high-end rear living couples trailer, and all the specifications for this fifth wheel will be down in the description below, as well as a link for the current pricing on these. Now, if you could do me a favor, before we jump onto the inside, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. I would greatly appreciate if it, it if you could do that. I'd love to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. All right, guys. So if you follow the channel regularly, you'll notice this is my second video on the 3100. And normally I don't do that in a model year, but this one has some updates that I did want to go ahead and cover. So if you followed Brinkley for a while, this is not a new floor plan. It is real similar to basically every 35 foot long rear living couples trailer that is built in the RV industry today. Now, what is Brinkley doing differently? That's what I want to cover in this video. So, starting off over here in your slide out, you have got a table for two. Now, this is in dinette mode, as I like to call it. And this can actually, this center section here, can actually move one way or the other and turn into a desk. And you know what? Why talk about it? when I can show you. So if we take a look at the video that will pop up, you can see that this desk can move over, or the dinette can move over, turn into a desk, and it can pull out almost all the way to an or to the island, which is pretty cool. So if you're a work camper, this would be a great uh, model for you, since you do have the big L-shaped desk. And then if we take a look at the second video that will pop up, you can see you can also extend the dinette almost all the way to the island in the middle too, which is pretty dang cool. Now, all of your windows, these are a little bit different. These are square frameless windows. And these windows here do not open, but all the rest of them do. And they do have these kind of built-in pleated nightshades. You're practicing touch and goes at the airport, apparently again today. Um, but they also have some astrofoil on the back side of them, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, again, these are frameless windows, so they do crank open, but they crank open a lot farther than a lot of the other things out there in the industry. No carpet in the slide outs, which is very nice. So it's a seamless transition. There's no marine grade flooring. They're just doing the, the matching linoleum, which I really do like. Now, coming over here, you do have your theater seats. This does have the uh, cup holders here, plus this doubles as a wireless phone charger, and these do have the heat on them as well. They also have moved away from the, uh, the pull cords, so all you do is you pull this handle back, and this will lay down like that, and then to put it back, all you do is push the handle forward and push down like so. So, a little bit of an upgraded theater seat, you are going to have the remote storage in there as well. Now, I've got the ottoman out in, well, of course, like coffee table or ottoman mode here. And you can see as we, uh, in the video that pops up, this does kind of raise up for like a TV tray. Plus, it has storage inside too, which is really cool. And then... You can also see in the second video that pops up, this big back bed here will turn into a guest sleeper for two adults since it is a trifold sleeper sofa. Now back here, I've got one of these deployed, but you can see you've got your household and USB outlets right here. And if you don't need these, don't want them, they hide right there. So that is really a neat feature as well. And of course, I'm always forgetting extra lights <laughs> There's so many lights in these Brinkleys. They light up like a Christmas tree. 
Now, I wanted to do something a little bit different here. So this is your normal view with the TV down. And I like that you get this extra window over here for when you do have the TV down. Now I'm sitting in the left-hand theater seat. If we go over here to the right-handed theater seat, that is what your view would look like. It does have the 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace down below. And you'll also notice this is a full flush floor slide out over here too. That is incredibly uncommon. Well, it's becoming more common now, but it's still relatively uncommon to see that. Usually you have that extra step up there. So 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace. This little shelf here is actually for like a DVD player, Blu-ray player, or a um, satellite box or cable box. And you've got all the connections to be able to hook into that right there. Plus you do have HDMI wiring already ran for you, which is pretty cool. Now, down here, that is your Bluetooth controller for your stereo system. And the nice thing about that is this is just for the interior speakers. You have a separate one for the exterior speakers. So uh, no CD, DVD player. This is just a Bluetooth sound system. Really like this big chunk of wood there too. Your televator controls are right here. So if we go ahead and, oop, if I'd hit the right, <laughs> right direction, you can see that your TV will go ahead and pop up. And now if we back up over here, you can see what that looks like when you're ready to sit down and watch the news or watch a movie, whatever you're going to do there. So that is a really cool uh, feature as well. As far as air conditioning, you are, you have a little bit different AC system. This is an 18,000 BTU Furion Chill Cube mini split. And it is non-ducted right now because that's the only version they offer. I'm, I'm told it's at some point they will have a ducted version of this. But this is about 30 to 40% more powerful than a standard 15K AC. Um, I've had them on in the shop when the technicians were PDIing these and they blow a lot of air. Plus you have this handy dandy remote here and this has a follow me function. So wherever you put this in the coach, that rooftop air conditioner is not going to turn off until the remote gets down to temperature. You can all see all the extra accent lighting that they have and also on your island. And we'll talk a little bit more about this kind of stuff here in just a little bit, because I think if you're spending this much money on a, on a fifth wheel, you're going to want to know everything about it. This is anchored directly to the chassis. So if I go over here and try to move this, there's no wiggle whatsoever. And I encourage you to do that in any other fifth wheel brand out there. And you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. They move quite a bit. No heat ducts in the, uh, in the floor. They actually come out down here under the island. Let's see if I can... Get you a good shot of that. Yeah, they come out of the base of the island and then also over there. Plus, if we come back over here, you do have your pull-out pet dishes. So that is really cool. And these will just slide back in out of the way, just like so. Now, if we come back over here, before we get to the kitchen, you have got all your controls right here. So you got your awnings, your slide outs, a whole bunch of lighting controls, your water pump, uh, your tank levels, your battery condition. Plus you can connect this to your phone via Bluetooth. And then you've got, this is your dimmer for your lights. So if we take a look here, you can dim the lights down and bring them back up. 
Then you've got your max air vent fan controls, and then this is your solar battery readout uh, that tells you how much uh, your solar panels are putting out. This has a 370 watt solar package up on the roof, which is pretty cool. And then right here's your is your um, your furnace controls. And then there is that max air fan that does have a rain sensor built in on it as well. And then you can see you've got one speaker here and one speaker back there by the air conditioner. Those are your Bluetooth speakers. And something cool with that system is you can actually Bluetooth the smart TV that this has to that system. So if you really want to, you know, watch Top Gun and have the full surround sound experience, you can do that. And you can't do that in most other fifth wheels. So let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the kitchen and living area storage and show you what that looks like. So starting off in the dinette, you have this built-in silverware drawer here, which is really cool. I do like that. Oh, this is a perfect spot to show this. Take a look at how this drawer is built. They use dovetailed construction on all of their cabinetry drawers, which is really nice. And everything's just so clean and finished off. There's no raw exposed wood. I really do like that. You've got good storage above your theater seats, as you can see there. More storage all the way above your rear sofa. And that's nice and deep too. That is one thing I really appreciate. And then on each side of the sofa, in addition to those household and power outlets that pop up, you've got some hidden storage here as well, plus like in table storage there too. So that is really cool. I do really like that. Over here above your TV entertainment center, You've got some decent storage for some of your uh, entertainment um, items that you're going to do or going to store there. And all of your cabinet doors are soft closed too, which is really nice. Solid surface countertops. You do have some outlets right there. And you'll have another one over there, right there uh, on that wall, which we'll look at a little closer here in just a moment. Three drawers right here. Now their drawers are not, oh, they are soft closed now. Okay, that's a new change I did not know about because the, the last ones were not. So you've also got a nice pots and pans drawer there. Big old oven that you can fit some turkeys in. Three burner cooktop. Now I like the three burner one just because you can actually use all three burners at the same time. Those four burner ones, you can't use all four burners. They're just too close. Good storage here. 30 inch microwave. It is not convection. And then you've got some more storage here. Plus that's your bag with all your manuals. There is another set of outlets right there and i like how symmetrical this is so depending on if you're right or left handed you can put your uh pot handles whichever way you want to right here is going to be your spice organizer this is fully removable too by the way so you don't have to have it and then you've got some more good storage right there now let's take a look at our island real quick so lots of prep space you've got household outlets on each end if we go ahead and pull this out, you've got your double trash can and then a hidden drawer here. And this has got your paper towel holder in it, which is really cool. I do like that. Now, if we go down here, you've got plenty of space for your uh, dish soap and cleaning chemicals and you know all that good stuff. And then you've got three more full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And again, nice solid construction on those. And then this one is a little bit deeper. As far as your sink, you've got the high rise spring loaded style uh, sprayer faucet, roll away drying rack, 
and the one basin farm style sink. Again, solid surface countertops. Now over here, you've got your 16 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. So this is your uh, refrigerator side. And then you've got your freezer side right there. Now let's talk pantry. Here is your pantry. You have motion sensored lighting here, adjustable shelves. They are using metal hardware, which is really nice. It's a lot more heavy duty than some other uh, brands out there. You do have an electrical outlet and then some access to your wire chase that goes all the way up to the roof. So if you want to add a satellite dish or something like that, they've already, they already have a wire chase run from the roof down to here. So you can easily pull wires. If you need to add extra solar panels, stuff like that, whatever you need to do, uh, they have a spot already where you can run your wires. Now, while we're down here, you've got some other storage down here, plus your 12 volt fuse block. Two more drawers, you've got your seven inch backup camera that comes with it, plus your tire pressure monitoring system and some other, uh, some other uh, items there as well. You've got another household outlet, plus this little light, this is on a dimmer, uh, so, or it's got two modes, I guess is what I should say storage here and then you've got some big old storage up here as well you've got your shoe garage in the steps and i like that the steps are lighted very well too and that makes it very easy to get up and down the steps at night so all right guys let's go ahead now and we will jump up to the bedroom and bathroom so as we step into the master bathroom first things first You've got your big old linen cabinet right here. That's your tankless on-demand water heater controls, by the way. So great storage there, goes all the way down to the floor. You've got your coat hooks right here. Magnetic toilet paper holder. So that's really neat. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. I don't think anybody would expect anything less. And then you've got your pretty good sized shower. So now if we step in here, this is a full fiberglass surround. And if I flip the camera around, you can see I have plenty of room here to take a shower, do what I need to do. And you do have the light bar up here, which is really nice. Plus you've got your spa inspired shower with multiple sprayers and the hand one, plus your little baskets here for your soap and shampoo. You do have the tri-slide glass door. And then back over here, right there, you are prepped for the foldable teak seat. So that is a really cool feature as well that I learned about in our Brinkley training. Now right here, you've got your recessed medicine cabinet, towel, uh, hand towel bar, GFI protected outlet, your max servant fan controls, plus your lighting controls. And if we look up top, you do have your max servant fan here, plus your AC duct for your front air conditioner. Backlit mirror, you get to look at my goofy face behind the camera. And then down here, solid surface countertops. You got your black stainless steel sink with the high rise single handle uh, faucet. Three drawers. And there's that third one. And then you've got some more good storage right here. If we flip the camera around, you can see I've got plenty of elbow room on this side. Same thing on this side. And if we flip it back around, you can see I've got plenty of leg room. So really, really nice um, space there. Plus, there has got to be a <laughs> catch for this that I am not figuring out, but you do have a sliding pocket privacy door. Right here's gonna be your thermostat for that second air conditioner. Plus you've got your lighting controls for in the bedroom. Those are dimmable. King bed, as we see it here today, you can option these Brinkley's with a queen bed. 
you have windows on both sides, USB ports up there, and then you'll have power on each side, uh, as you can see right down there. Plus this little switch here is for your lights underneath the bed. That's a three-way switch, so it's off, on, and motion. Plus you've got some good little cubby hole space here. There's your second air conditioner. And if we lift up the bed, you can see you've got some great storage and there's all the bedding and stuff uh, up there. Now, this is a heat duct for in here. So basically everywhere except the upper deck, you're going to have in uh, cabinet ducted heating. Now up in here, you have your lighted closet with dual lights. You've got the shoe garage, cordless vacuum prep. So if you have a Dyson or something you want to flip, uh, set in there, you can. It's already prepped and ready for that. Here's another closet. This is where your dryer would go. Or you could just use, as, uh, use it as extra closet space. Plus you've got some more cubby holes there. And then down here is where your washer would go. So this is prepped for a stackable unit, which is really nice. Another big window, you've got your TV at a downward angle. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. You do have some hidden storage. Plus, if you want to make this a secondary desk, Brinkley does make a piece that sets in there so you can do that. And then you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven drawers. These are still the dovetailed construction with the soft clothes. And then you do have your magnetic holdback for this main door with some flip down robe hooks. So that is really cool, I do like that. So all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the interior tour. Let's go ahead now and close these slide outs up and let you look at it in travel mode. All right guys, so with the slide outs closed, you can come in here, you can get to your refrigerator and freezer. Well, I did that backwards, but you get the idea. Now you're not getting back there. Um, that's just a normal thing on triple slide fifth wheels. You can get to your bathroom and your bedroom. So I'm gonna give this one a pass for the travel test. All right guys, so we're on the outside of the Brinkley 3100 RL and I wanted to change it up since I've already got this one sold too. Uh, putting all the slide outs in so that you can see what it looks like all closed up on the outside. So you've got your automotive grade painted fiberglass front cap with the LED docking lights. Coming up here, you do have your battery compartment with your solar charge controller. That's a 50 amp with your battery disconnect up there. And then you've got all your hydraulics for your hydraulic slides and hydraulic auto leveling. Plus there is that switch for the front cap lights. Coming over here inside this first bay, this is going to be your propane compartment. So you'll have one on each side. You do have two power awnings with LED light strips integrated into them. I just don't have them turned on today. Plus you can see, well you can't really see where your windows are very easily. You really have to get up close to see where they're at. Now here's your pass-through storage. You've got your outside shower on both sides. This little guy right here is your Bluetooth speaker controls for the outside. Got some lighting controls and cable and power. Now look back here. Not one, you have a motion sensored light and you can see how clean everything is. So let me open this one here too. So you can see back in there, just look how all your, there's, it's not a rat's nest of wires. Plus, I don't know if, how well you can see it, but these guys use all brass plumbing uh, fittings, no plastic. And each water appliance has their own water shutoff, which is pretty dang impressive. 
you do have a travel disconnect so this will basically turn off everything except for the solar and the uh, refrigerator and the landing gear of course you do have a, a uh, led light strip there and then you do have the led ground effect lighting under here plus you do have a fully enclosed forced air heated underbelly magnetic holdbacks on your baggage doors slam latches right here you're going to have your friction hinge entry door you do have the screen defender so if you take your fur babies with you you uh they're not going to jump out you do have the screen handle and the screenshot screen assist there as well plus they are using a different lock this is an rv lock that does have the keyless entry you've got the safe t rail and the Moride Step Above Steps. Now these are the ones that you can dump off, which is really cool. I do like that. These are riding on Cooper 17 and a half inch wheels and tires, which is really nice. Plus you are going to have the Road Armor suspension or the CRE 3000 suspension, uh, one of the two, I forget exactly which one. And you've got your four point electric auto level. There is your second awning. And again, those windows blend in very well to the graphics, which is really neat. And they're squared off too. You have a ladder to get up on top of the roof. It is fully walkable. It's a TPO membrane with a, uh, I believe it's a 15 or 20 year warranty on that. You do have the 3000 pound towing hitch with the four flat plug. And you've got some more good storage back here that does have power and motion sensor lights if they're turned on. Slam latch doors there. And then if we look up top, you can see there is that backup camera that is already installed. Now, as we come around this way, again, simple exterior. It's very automotive inspired. No Nike swooshes, which I really like. Right here is your sewer hose caddy, plus where you dump your tanks, not underneath the slide out. There's your furnace access, your tankless on-demand water heater. And then you've got a 65 foot integrated water hose on a reel. Plus you have the Nautilus docking center with the outside shower, black tank flush, and power electric gate valves. Now there is a manual override underneath that you can take a panel out of the underbelly to get to and then right here's going to be your automatic leveling so all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the 2024 brinkley model z 3100 if you're interested in this big beautiful fifth wheel and you would like pricing and availability Again, that link will be down in the video description. Um, if you really are interested in one of these, I wouldn't wait till one gets on the ground because they're basically sold by the time they get here typically because they don't build a ton of them, which is one of the things I love about Brinkley. But remember at Funtown RV, we don't do any of those hidden dealer fees and we have the best products the best selection and the best prices around. So we hope to see you out here at Funtown RV of Amarillo very soon. We'll see you on the next one.